Today I'll be showing you how to make Linux Mint look like Windows. Now, in case you're unfamiliar with Linux Mint, Linux Mint actually does a pretty good job of replicating the Windows look and feel out of the box, but it's still not quite what you may call a Windows clone. Because after all, the Linux Mint team definitely doesn't want to have their Linux distribution branded as a Windows ripoff. So I'll be showing you how to better replicate that Windows look and feel with Linux Mint. Now, I'm going to be using Windows 10 themes for this because since Windows 11 isn't even out yet and has actually only been recently announced at the time of shooting this video, I haven't been able to find any Windows 11 themes for Linux Mint. Now, if you do find any, please let me know about them. However, I have been able to find the default Windows 11 wallpaper, so I will also showcase applying that in this video. All right, so now I know you're waiting to get into this video, but before we do, I just want to mention one thing. I've actually looked at my YouTube analytics and I've noticed that the vast, vast majority of my views come from people who are not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed yet, I have one small favor to ask. If you like this video and you find that it's helpful, please, please, please hit that big red subscribe button. If all of you watching this video could do that, this channel would grow a lot faster and I would be able to reach even more people with these videos. And also, I try to make a new video every week. Currently, I usually put them out on Mondays, but also, with my videos, I do what's called premiering. So basically, when I first put it out, it'll behave kind of like a live stream, so that way loyal subscribers like you can get the chance to be the first people to watch new videos of mine, and you can also chat with other people watching the video in real time while it's premiering. And the only way to know when a premiere drops is if you turn on notifications for my channel. And the only way to do that is if you're subscribed. So if you want to get notified the second I put out a new video, you got to hit that big red subscribe button. But anyways, enough talk. Let's get to the moment you've been waiting for. All right, so now the nice thing about Linux Mint when it comes to this is that it looks and feels a lot like Windows out of the box. So we can actually get straight to theming. We just have to go into preferences or rather system settings, then go to themes under appearance, and then let's go to add slash remove. Now if it asks you to update the theme cache, you're gonna click yes. But anyway, let's search for Windows here. And the theme we're after is the Windows 10 Lite theme. So let's click download on that. Then once it's downloaded, we can get back to themes. And now you're going to go click on the desktop theme, then scroll down to Windows 10, click on that, and then it'll apply on your desktop. And you're going to do the same thing with the window borders, click on Windows 10. Then you want to click on controls, then scroll down to Windows 10, click on that, and there you go. Now you get your Windows 10 theme applied. Now this is the primary step. So now you may also want to have your icon set and mouse pointer resemble Windows. So let's get into that. So now you're going to head over to this GitHub page that I'll have linked in the description. You're going to click on code, then click it download zip, and then just download the zip file. I've already downloaded this file. I've got it right in my downloads folder. It'll be called windows 10 master.zip. All you have to do is open that up, then click extract, and then we need to go to the home folder, then right click and click on show hidden files. And then we want to extract this to our .icons folder. Now, if you don't have a .icons folder, just make one. It has to be called .icons, exactly like that, no capitals, and it has to begin with a dot and no spaces. Dot icons, exactly like that. But anyway, we're going to extract it into that folder. Then once it says extraction completed successfully, we're going to click close. We can close out of all this. Then we can come back to our system settings, go back to themes, and then under icons, we just click on that. Then we click Windows 10 master. Et voila, your icon set has been changed to resemble Windows. So now let's get to changing this mouse cursor to be more Windows-like. So to do that, you're going to head over to this page, which I'll have linked in the description. Now, I know this is a Windows 8.1 cursor, but between the Windows 8.1 cursor, the Windows 10 cursor, and even the Windows 11 cursor, I can't even notice the difference. But anyway, let's scroll down to Files and click on that. And then we're going to get the latest version, which is Win 8.1 NSS KDE R2.tar.bz2. Now, I know this is for the KDE desktop environment, but this will work on the Cinnamon desktop environment as well, which is what Linux Mint uses. But anyway, we're going to go download that file and you can click download or download mirror it really doesn't matter I'm just gonna go for download because since this is an extremely small file you really won't even notice a speed difference between the two mirrors are usually gonna be faster but you can really 
only notice a difference with like large files. Like we're talking Linux ISOs. For a tiny file like this, you won't even notice a difference. But anyway, we're gonna go download that file. Now I've already downloaded this file. I've got it right here in my downloads folder. So we're gonna open that up. And now we're gonna go into this folder right here. And then you're gonna pick which version of the Windows cursor that you want. Now NS means no shadow. So that means that the cursor won't have a shadow. And the S version means shadow. So the cursor will have a shadow. It depends on which one you prefer. You can install both to see which one you like better. However, I'm gonna be going with the NS version. So we're gonna click on that, then click extract. Then we're gonna go back to our home folder, click icons and extract this to our dot icons folder. Then click extract, close out of here. Then go back to our system settings, themes. Then we're gonna click on mouse pointer and change that to win 8.1. There we go. Now this is the last thing we're gonna be doing in the themes window. So now let's fix up this wallpaper since this is obviously not Windows related. So now here's the download page for the Windows 11 default wallpaper. Now if you want to get the Windows 10 default wallpaper for a more familiar experience, I'll also have that linked down below in the description. But anyway, on this page, we're going to click download. And then if it doesn't download the wallpaper, just by clicking on that, we're going to right click, save image as, and you can save that to your downloads folder. Now I've already got that downloaded. It's right here in my downloads folder. We can get a preview by opening up our image viewer. So now you could go to your system settings in backgrounds to set this wallpaper, but here's a shortcut. Just right click on the image, then click set as wallpaper. Bam, there you go. So now let's tackle this dock to get a more window 11 look and feel we're gonna move these to the center so we're just gonna right click on our dock then click panel settings then we're gonna toggle on panel edit mode and then just move this stuff over to the middle like that and we can move our show desktop button over to the left or rather the right to make this more windows like and now once you're done you're just toggle out of panel edit mode and there you go and then this button can show your desktop but anyway we can close out of here so now the very very last thing we're gonna do is tackle this Linux Mint logo in the bottom left more specifically we're gonna replace that with a Windows logo so we're gonna right click on that then click configure then click on the icon right here and then we can just search for menu and then click on the Windows logo you know the one for no main menu now I'm sure once there's a Windows 11 theme then you'll be able to get a Windows 11 logo, but for now we'll just make do with this, or you could also download a Windows 11 icon from the internet if you want to. But let's just go with this one. We can click on that, then click select. There we go. And also, or at this, I almost forgot that this should also be moved over to the middle. So let's go to panel edit mode, drag that over to the middle. Bam! So now let's toggle out of panel edit mode, and there you go. So now you have Linux Mint that looks like Windows. Now just for information, this doesn't do anything to your login screen. Now I'm sure if you were more of an advanced user you could get that going but that's beyond the scope of this video. And that was my guide to making Linux Mint look like Windows. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, drop a comment down below, and for the last time, hit that big red subscribe button. But anyways, I'll see you in the next video.